smile for the camera, Frankie. <laughs> that time of year again we're gonna get the gas fridge fired up with help from Frankie over here <laughs> you helper he wants to be a part of everything this little fridge worked out really good for us last year and this is I think the ninth of oh. gotta put his two cents in there this is the ninth of May and we're gonna fire it up for the first time we've been using the ice box and it's still almost refrigerator cold beneath the cabin just because of that bubble foil so we're gonna get this fired up for the first time I'm still running on a single tank here we just hooked this up turn the gas on I'm gonna run all new gas lines in the camp I'm gonna bump them up these are the old 3 8 lines that are here but I'm gonna bump them up bigger and get everything hooked on one line but for now it's time to get the fridge going so let's see I'm gonna pull this and push this all right I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it out there's a little window here there'll be a little flame flickering the camera's not picking it out but I can hear the flame going Frankie's having his Lunch and fire up an appetite for you, Frankie. <laughs> since this is the first time it's been fired up since last, I don't know, November maybe, something like that. I'm going to check on it quite often, make sure the flame is still burning, but we had no problems at all. It worked flawlessly. And this is the one that I took out of that old Shasta camper. Served us well. It's tiny, but... With the ice box and this, it works out great. And this year now, since we have all the skirting done, we're going to keep a lot of the extra produce under the camp. So I even have beers under there, and they are, they're not ice cold, but they're certainly cold enough to drink. <laughs> He's got a tick right here. Two of them. See that? You see those? They. The tick appears to be dead already. He gets the next guard tablets and it gets in his bloodstream and it kills the ticks I don't really like giving a pill like that to him but it's really the lesser of two evils I guess he's been laying outside most of the day so he's getting a tick search now as you can see I just pulled two of them off of him and I'm just starting the tick search and he knows what's up yeah, that's right. Aww. A lot of times they get in his throat area. That's the first place I check. But as you can see, he's pretty used to it. It must feel good to him getting the tick search. But even when he has one right near his eye, he's really good about it. I marked the salt ice bottles. That way I can keep them away from the fragile foods like the eggs or the... Um, 
vegetables and stuff like that because the salt ice will freeze everything that it touches. But I like to have a combination of the two in my cooler. The salt ice is a big benefit um, if I'm traveling with frozen food because it will keep the frozen food frozen a heck of a lot longer than regular ice will. The regular ice will last about the same amount of time as the clear ice, but it won't keep the frozen food frozen. It will keep it cold, but the salt ice will keep it frozen, and I've had frozen food in my cooler. It was just like a whole chicken. It was just starting to thaw out after six days with salt ice in the cooler, so that's pretty good. You can't get that kind of performance with regular ice. Two quart bottle, I use about a quarter cup of regular table salt. And when it's all dissolved, I'll fill it up to about here. Got to leave some room for expansion. Once I have all the salt dissolved, I'm going to fill the bottle up to about here somewhere. You want to leave room for expansion because the ice is going to expand as it freezes. Or I should say the water will. And if there's no room, it's going to crack the jug and it's going to leak all over the place when it melts. We don't want that. I find it best if I have a combination of salt ice and regular ice in my cooler because the salt ice is going to be colder than the regular ice. I don't care what the scientists say, okay? <laughs> if you put salt ice bottles in your cooler and close the lid and then have the same cooler with regular ice and close the lid and put a thermometer in each one of those coolers, you will see that the one with the salt ice is a heck of a lot colder than the regular ice. But anyway, regardless, if I have a combination of salt ice and regular ice, that way I can put the regular ice bottles close to the food, and the salt ice bottles further away, and the salt ice bottles will keep the regular ice, it'll make it last longer because it makes the cooler colder. It's a colder environment, the ice is going to last longer. Give it a try if you're skeptical. I'm going to do a little work to the outhouse there and one thing that's always been bothering me it's a little bit askew from the camp when I walk down this path to it it always bothered me because it's just a little bit cockeyed so I hooked up the come along over here this thing is handy can't tell you how many times this has saved my behind in a project you know got something real heavy to move or a tree hung up this thing works. So I've got it hooked to this pine and then to that tree and the only place it's touching the shed is on this corner so when I pull on that direction I want to pull the shed a little bit so here goes That ought to do it. That spun it around about four inches, maybe five. Just about what I wanted. Perfect. Couldn't have done it without this come along. <laughs>
you gotta stay strong out here. Gotta keep on keeping on. And then have a cold one. <laughs> Sounds like a plan to me. <laughs> yes, sir. Get this one loaded up and I'll have all I need for the porch. No, I thought the project was going great, but there's always a few that are skeptical. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> I'd say it's mission accomplished once again. These are perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Nice and straight, not much taper. Been down for a couple of years. They're not all full of branches either, so they'll skin pretty good. Draw a knife, a couple beers, have them done in no time. Excellent. The loggers left these here. They just knocked them over when they were digging out gravel to make this road. Luckily, they're here, exactly what I need, and I can utilize them. Don't have to kill any fresh trees, you know. And then I'd be working with green lumber, so this is best. Perfect. Frank and the boss out walking in the woods, living life happy and free. Tracks in the snow everywhere they go, there's a pokey way up in that tree. A beaver built a pond where they have some fun, taking life a day at a time. Best friends until the end. Frankie and the boss. Frankie and the boss. Frankie and the boss.